Welcome to Guatemalan Worry Dolls with paper clips and tape. Now in our first video we saw a couple examples with fabric and with pipe cleaners but today we're going to be making with uh, tape and paper clips because some people don't have fabric or pipe cleaners. So to get started first we're going to need scissors and tape. You're also going to need uh, some crayons, a handful of crayons, whatever colors you like, a pen or a marker, a sharpie is the best. And then of course you're going to need some paper clips. I'd say just a couple small ones. Don't get the really big ones, get the small ones. There you go. And when you got all that stuff, then you'll be ready to begin. Alright, so let's get started. First I took my tape and I cut two small pieces and then I put my paper clip with the big side up top or big end up top. And I'm gonna put it in the middle of my sticky tape. You see that? Then I'm gonna fold one side over till it just covers over my paper clip. And I flat it out, I squish it down. Same thing on the other side, I fold it over flat it out, squish it down. I even use this uh, other one, this other paper clip, to kind of smooth out the edge, make sure it all sticks together real nice. I want the sticky sides to stick together. Now I'm going to take my other piece, my, it's about, you know, about two inches long, and I'm going to do it on the bottom. I'm going to put my paper clip just on the top. There we go. And it's down the middle of that piece of tape. I'm going to fold it up in half again. I'm going to squish it down. Squish it down. Make sure those sticky sides stick together. I can even use my other paper clip to help make sure it sticks. Smooth it out. There we go. Now I got my paper clip in the middle of some tape. It's time to draw the body on there with our pen. So I'm going to start by making some straight uh, straight lines that come right down the sides of the paper clip and then some arms that come off the other direction like that. Make a little line down the middle for the legs, a little foot. Now when you make the legs you got to make them underneath where the paper clip is because you won't be able to cut into the paper clip. Draw your head hands and your face there we go and if you need to pause this rewind and watch it again that's all right I add the hair so now I'm finished with one side I want to draw them on the back how can I do that I just got to look through the paper if I hold it up you can actually see through the tape to where your lines are and that'll help you draw the same thing on the back side too there we go add my hair. I always use black for the hair on these dolls because I think that's traditional. Even though we're not using traditional materials, we're not going for the authentic worry doll, we still want to keep some of it authentic if we can. And this one I made a girl so I gave her a skirt instead of pants just to keep it different, you know, make something different. There's her ears and her hair and her face. Coming back. Actually, I'm going to make the hair. I think it should go all the way down to the shoulders. There we go. There's the legs. Now, her legs look a little too long there, so I'm actually going to make them shorter. There we go. All right. Time to cut. This is pretty fun. You've got to be a little careful. And actually, if you have small scissors like I'm using right here, this is the best time to use them because big scissors on a tiny little project like this, they can kind of get in the way. So having small scissors is a good thing on this one. Carefully cut around the head and it should all stay together because we stuck those sticky sides together and cut the line in between the legs so they can move. I'll show the girl real quick. Same thing though, same process. 
Now I'm going to color them in. And I'm going to use this nice color. It's called mahogany for the skin. You can use whatever color you want to use. But I think mahogany is a really nice color. And for her, I found another color called tan. That's a nice color too. So yeah, we're going to color her face, her hands, her leg. Not her feet though, because she's wearing shoes. Gonna get the back side too. There we go. Oh, left off the shoes. I gotta color those in real quick. Oh, this guy wanted to say hi. Here we go. Color those in with the crayon. And coloring the clothes can be a little difficult, you know, because you got that paper clip inside. You gotta gotta stick to it you gotta get it in those crevices those nooks and crannies but if you keep at it you can get a pretty good color on there let's make that orange that's pretty good and a blue shirt that's coming out all right now if you're going slowly taking your time you know yours might even look a little better than mine I'm kind of going through it quickly. These people are okay. I think they turned out all right. Well, that's all for now. I hope you have fun. I miss y'all and have a good time crafting.